Okay, so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this nice looking happy Halloween card inside Microsoft Word. So something like this or something like that. And it looks kind of complicated, but it's actually pretty simple and I think it's a perfect tutorial for beginners. So let's get started. I will start in a blank new document and the first things first, if you are gonna print this project, it may be a good idea to jump into layout and set the right page size and page orientation. So that's what I will do right now. I will set the orientation to be landscape and let's continue with the pumpkin. And you may be surprised that the pumpkin is already part of Microsoft Word. So if you jump into the insert ribbon, there is this 3D models button and you can either click this button or you can also click the drop down menu and select the stack 3D models which is pretty much the same thing and it will open you this dialog where you can search for various 3D models. So what I will do is I will type in Halloween and press the enter key and it should show me all the 3D models that have the Halloween keyword. And I kind of like the pumpkin which I believe is almost on the bottom of the page which is this one. So I'll click it and insert it into my document. Now if I want I can click multiple different models and all of those will be inserted into my document but this time I only want this pumpkin which is indicated by this checkbox. So I'll press this insert button and after a few seconds, hopefully, it will be inserted into our document. So let's wait a while and hopefully it will, it will be fast. And now we have it in our document. We can rescale it, we can resize it to make it bigger or smaller. We don't even have to press the shift key on the keyboard because it will always keep the aspect ratio. The next thing which we can do is we can open the 3D models view drop down menu and set you know different view of the model or different camera orientation. We can also click this special kind of handle and we can just drag it around and also, you know, drag the model around and move it or rotate it in the 3D space. But I kind of like this like front facing view like this. I will move it in the center and I will change the colors for my document a little bit. So I will jump into the design and for the color palette, I will probably choose this orange one, which is kind of like matching the color scheme of the pumpkin. Now for the page background color, I will jump into the, again, in the design ribbon, open the page background color or page color drop down menu and set it to like dark brown. Maybe this one should be fine. Okay, I kind of like it. The size, I think it's fine. So maybe a little, little bit smaller. Let's just insert some kind of text. So for this, we probably need some fancy font, but maybe let's start with the text box. So I will select insert shapes text box, which is recently used, but it's also in here in the basic shapes. There is this text box, which is the A inside the rectangle. So I'll press the text box and then draw it like quite big on the page like so. So press and drag your mouse cursor to draw the new text box. I will type in happy Halloween. Actually, I have it copied or pasted in my keyboard. So I'll paste it from my keyboard and make this much, much bigger, maybe like 120 or maybe, you know, 100 points. Doesn't matter that much right now. So what I want to do is I want to select this text box. So click on the rectangle, click on the border, jump into shape format, set the shape fill to be no fill because we don't want to have any fill for the shape and the shape outline to be no outline again we don't want to have any outline for the shape now we want to find some fancy font so i usually go to the daft font website which is pretty cool I, my favorite one and here is the section for a holiday so if i click this halloween section we will sh uh, it will show us all the all the fonts which are kind of related to halloween the nice thing about this one is i can type in my my own text so i'll type in happy halloween and may, maybe make it a little bit bigger so i can see how it looks like click submit button and we can see all those different fonts and i'm pretty sure that i've chosen one from the first page i think i like the one which is called midnight minutes also just a side note if you are planning to use this for a commercial project you want to avoid using fonts which says free for personal usage but i think they are fine for now because um, i don't think you will want to sell it okay so download it install it, jump back to Microsoft Word, just try to remember the font name, and I think it was Midnight Minutes, right? And that's it. So I will make this center aligned and maybe make it slightly bigger, like 120 points, and change font color to be just like light yellow, maybe this one, and move it a little bit down. Now what I like is to be this, this text to be below or under the pumpkin, so I will either right click the text and select the send to back, or I will right click pumpkin and select bring to front. This is pretty much the same thing. Okay, so compared to my previous document, and let me let me actually show it, there is this background which is filled with beds. And it's it's a very simple thing to do, so let's continue with those beds. I've used the very same approach as for the pumpkin, that is, I've used a 3D model. So again, I will jump into the insert ribbon, select 3D models, and I have to search for Halloween one more time. It doesn't remember my previous search, unfortunately. And I want to search for the bed, which is this one. So click this bed and click the insert button. Now the bed looks 
nice. It's it's a very nice bet, but it's kind of distracting because there are a lot of different elements. So what I would like to do instead is only use like the outline of the bed. So the bed should be like filled with with a, with a solid color instead. It's, you know the texture is nice, but it doesn't quite fit our our style of the document. So what I'll do is I'll just right click the bed and select Format 3D Object. Now if you jump into the fill properties and change the fill for the bed that will just not do what we want to do because it will just fill the rectangle which is holding the bed. So no fill is fine for this case. We have to use a simple trick. And the simple trick is having the bed in our shadow. So jump into the effects, which is this one, and I will add a new shadow. And I will, you know, just so we can see it better, I will just uh, undock this paint. So I will just move it like so, so you can see my drop down menu. And now for the presets, I will select inner shadow, maybe this one, or, or pretty much any inner shadow preset. Now you can see that the edges are a little bit faded because they are a little bit more to the black and what we want to do is we want to increase the blurriness so all the way up to 100 points and also lower the transparency to 0 points. And you can see everything is faded but we can still see the texture a little bit. So the next step would be you know, again into the shadow properties, increase the distance just so that the inner part is just moving away from the bed itself. So if I increase the distance now we only see the fill color which is uh, right now it's a black color but we don't want this to be black we just want a little bit like a little bit darker version of the background so i will start with the background color which is i believe this one now it's like same color open the drop down menu again and select more colors and in this dialog i will just slightly move this slider more to the bottom which means it will be a little bit darker color you can see down here the new one is a little bit darker like so and i think that this one is fine i can probably close this uh, format free algae dialog and what I want to do is I want to, again, like move or, or rotate this free object in the 3D space, maybe make it m smaller or bigger and duplicate it multiple times. And you can duplicate it either by pressing the Ctrl C and Ctrl V button in your key on your keyboard. You can also use like in the home ribbon, you can use copy paste or you can just drag it. Let me just first drag it on the right side. You can drag it with your Ctrl key press, which will also create a copy. Now, if you want to move it, you, you see that I'm just moving the object in the 3D space. You have to actually like hover over the rectangle or the edges of the object instead you cannot just simply you know grab it like this and move it which might be a little bit confusing but you will get used to it okay so let me just speed things up a little bit while i'm resizing scaling you know scaling moving and rotating the, those beds on the background Okay, I think that this should be it. This is nice, look, a nice looking background. I, I don't think I was using that that many beds in my previous example, but it should be fine for now. So the only difference between my previous document and this document is I was having like a small text on the bottom so I can copy paste this text box and place a, a different kind of text, which I will copy from the clipboard as well so I don't have to type it and make this text a little bit smaller, maybe like, I don't know, 30 points or so or 40 points. And of course, change the text color a little bit so it's a little bit darker. Maybe this one should be fine. And the last, very last thing for was a border around the document. So I'll insert a new shape being rectangle. So insert shapes rectangle, which is this one, or it's also in here. So standard rectangle and draw it just slightly smaller than the page itself, like so. I can reposition it pressing the arrow keys on my keyboard. Set the shape fill to no fill. Shape outline to be a little bit bolder, maybe like three points. And for the shape color, you know, this one is probably fine, but maybe a little bit darker. I mean, I like this one a little bit better. So it's faded. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create a nice happy Halloween card inside Microsoft Word with almost no effort. And the great, the best thing about this solution is you can use the free, ad, free objects to basically create any kind of, you know, spice, any kind of document in Microsoft Word. Now, one last thing. If you look at my, this example, this is just the slightly tweaked previous version of the document. And the difference is that the page background color is a little bit different because in, you know, in our document, everything is kind of brown. So the background is brown brown and this is like brownish so I was trying to like braid the color palette by setting the background color to be a little bit more like into the blue section so if you open if I open the you know design page background color and more colors you can see it goes more into the violet section so previously it was like more into the like brown which is around here and I just move it more to the left side so it's go it goes more to the violet section and I've also added those highlights, like red highlights on the top on the bottom, which are just a simple ellipsis. So select format shape, which just is a circle with a fill being the gradient fill going from the pink to pink. But one of those pinks is fully transparent. So this one is fully transparent, the outer one. 
and the inner one has a little bit of transparency so you can see just like a faded gradient going from the center of the sphere or of the circle and that's pretty much it you know this one was like 50 percent so subtle light coming from the top right and bottom left just to spice up the document a little bit more and that's really it thank you for watching and see you next time also if you have any comments or ideas or questions feel free to put those in the comments thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye